So approximately a week later, our butterfly should be completely dry. So um, I've got one here that I did last week. And so we're just going to remove the various pins that are holding bits and pieces in place. And we're now going to take away the pins that are holding the paper down and put those back where they live and take the paper off. And now we have a totally dry butterfly that's pinned with its wings spread. So this is another one that was collected in the field and kept in an envelope since 1975 and it's as fresh as the day it was caught. Now, this butterfly by itself, without the core data off the envelope, and this is the core data off the envelope, so that tells you where it was caught, it tells you when it was caught, and it tells you who uh, caught it. So, an insect specimen that doesn't have that core data is scientifically worthless. So it's very important that we create a label to put under the specimen on the pin that um, incorporates that data. So I went on to Google and I typed in the, lo the location uh, just to ch check it was a real, a real place and it was still there. So I've generated a label uh, which will go under the specimen on the uh, pin that's got all of that information on the envelope but I've also got um, some um, some extra bits and bits and pieces uh, on the locality in Indonesia so we just simply once we've generated our label we simply uh, push the pin th through it like so slide it up the pin till it stops just under the legs and so that specimen now has all the scientific data uh, permanently um, attached to it but the best the best information is the information that the collector wrote on the envelope when he caught it so so we don't throw that out I carefully cut this portion out with a pair of scissors and then that also goes on the pin un under the specimen. So we have a complete record of everything that occurred. And once the specimen is set and dried and labelled, it can go into the collection.